morning. Welcome to today's video. It's a fantastic light this morning. The sun's just coming up. I don't think this uh <laughs> don't think this orange gilet is doing much good for this light reflecting back at you. <laughs> but I'm out along the canal, only doing a short distance this morning just before work, just to get some fresh air. Swans are up. So yeah, fantastic light this morning. Very, uh, very orange. But then again, I'm looking pretty orange, aren't I? It's Wednesday this morning, and uh, I think it's tomorrow we get the uh, the review of whether they're going to come out of tier three in lockdown. <laughs> As if I don't know what's going on. I think the, I think the government. There's just a total stupidity. This whole Christmas five day malarkey. You can't go and have a cup of coffee, but for five days, we're going to open the world up to go mental and meet with loads of people. Because people will. Meanwhile, all the schools are still open. I wonder where the biggest growth is. Oh yeah, that'll be schools. Fancy that. Not rocket science, is it? Anyway, if you rant on about that, you just get fed up. Let me have a rant about something else. Pumps. So, a couple of weeks ago, you might remember I was out with Dan and I had a puncture. I had to use Dan's pump because mine had stopped working. It was a very cold morning, so I must admit, at the time, didn't think all that much of it. I just thought, oh, bugger, it's broken. I've hardly used it, that's annoying. Dan passes your, pu passes your pump. Now, had I been on my own, I wouldn't have been able to pump my tyres up. I'd have been stuck. A couple of miles from the nearest road, along a canal track. Which could have been a bit tricky. So, two things. First of all, it was a decent pump. It was a Topic, um, forget the model, Dual G, Dual G. Pumps both ways when you pump it. Quite clever. I bought it nine months ago when I bought this bike. I've used it three times, but it just felt like it wasn't gonna pump any air in. And it wasn't doing, because it was letting all the air out of the body. So when I examined it properly, the following day it just felt like air was coming out as i was pumping it in i could kind of feel it on my hand i thought that's weird it's very weird so i'm going to drop some video in here of what happened when i connected that pump to the inner tube put it in the sink have a look at this so as you can see there was a lot of air coming out of it. That was mildly annoying. It seemed to be coming out every part of it. Not just one part, every part. But how can that be? It's just attached to the bike. Nothing's happened to it. Nothing's been undone. Is it just vibrations? Is it made it loose? I don't know. So what I did, I took it all apart. And there's two O-rings inside it. And there's space for a third one. So I happen to have some O-rings that's about the right size. So I stuck a third one in, give it a little bit more seal, put it all back together, tightened it up really tight, a pair of pliers on the parts and just give it some oomph. And this is then what happened when I put it underwater after them. So as you can see, it's still got a little leak, but it's much, much better. So this has left me now with the dilemma. Given that that pump was working okay, and then it suddenly wasn't, so do I buy a new pump? Because is that one gonna sit there and worrying me? But when I come to use it, it ain't gonna work. So if I buy another pump, what do I buy? Now I should just add that the pump that this one replaced was a lasagna. All 
full aluminium body. Again, not a cheap one. And that literally fell apart. That one did. Just fell apart. Rubbish. And that was supposedly a good one. CNC aluminium. So you would think CNC aluminium, design, good quality, that would last you well. So perhaps I've been unlucky. I don't know. Have I been unlucky? What's your experience? Drop me a comment below. Have you had a pump that is really good, hard wearing, and has lasted you, and actually works? So I've been as a predominantly on the gravel bike. Road bike has a different pump on it, specialised. That's been all right. That's four years old now, still going strong. Tested it yesterday, just to be sure. Absolutely fine. So a, bike, a pump for the gravel bike needs to be high volume. Obviously it's got big old tyres on it. As you know, so it needs to be high volume. So yeah, I'd like, I'd like if, you, if you guys have got any particular recommendations, preferably used on a gravel bike, Preferably if it's hard wearing, you've gone through mud and stuff. And the second part of my dilemma, I've always shied away from CO2 pumps, but obviously they're quite small. So what occurs to me is given that the last one, last two pumps have failed and could have left me stuck, do I get a CO2 pump, carry it in my toolbox? Toolbox? <laughs> Get a CO, do I get a CO2 pump? Carry it in my tool bag as a second option. Should I need a second option? Is it sensible to have a second option just in case? Again, be intrigued to know you guys' thoughts. Do you carry a second option, a plan B, based upon previous experience? So we've fallen off on the ice last week reduced my mileage a little bit so I've missed my mileage again it's a little bit annoying not by a lot 20 miles or so so I'm only just by the skin of my teeth hanging on to my um, year to date average I've got 230 miles to go I'm hoping to do it should be able to do it but I do need to put in a couple of long rides because obviously within the next couple of weeks that I've got left We've got Christmas period. Don't think I'd be too popular if I went out and did a 60 miles on Christmas day. So it's just coming up to eight o'clock now. It's quite light now. It's on my way back home. I said I've done about 10 miles this morning. It's just a bit of fresh air before I start work. So if you're riding past the train station, you might as well nip and get, get yourself a metro, aren't you, really? This Christmas bubble, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We're just going to force ourselves into another lockdown. So speaking of Christmas, the big good news last week, I'm going to be off. I'm off from Christmas Eve to January the 4th. And uh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was going to have to uh, help man a skeleton staff over Christmas, but I'm not. So that's good. So hopefully that should be the answer to making certain that I hit my 5,000 miles. I'm actually thinking of a Christmas project, meeting up with Dan maybe. Then I'm definitely going to meet up with Dan one day. We're going to do a longish ride. But I'm also thinking, should I do a Christmas century? I've not done one yet this year, so maybe do a hundred miler. Maybe about the very end of the end of December. I think that might be quite a good thing to, to aim for. It's a few years since I've done a hundred miles actually. So I think I can do it. Might not be fast this time of year especially. And I'll be doing it on a gravel bike. I've actually worked out a route, um, which includes a lot of off-road. So if I head off from Grantham and go to Lincoln, then 
there's a waterway, um, sorry no, the water railway. Goes from Lincoln to Boston, old railway line. Go along that, and then Boston back to Grantham. That is perilously close to 100 miles. Might be able to talk Ride Leader Roy into doing that one. He likes long distance. We shall see. So I I think I'll do it for today. I've had a little rant at you. Thank you for helping me get that off my chest. So I'm going to home, head home now, get some breakfast, get some coffee on, most importantly. Get ready to start doing some work. Still working from home. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you are not a subscriber, please click subscribe. It would really help me out. Click the bell icon. And as always, tell your friends. See you again in a few days' time. Bye.